My name is Alfian Saad and I am the resident playwright of Wild Rice. I'm also the playwright for the play Pulau Ujong Island at the end. So Pulau Ujong is a work of documentary theatre, uh, also known as verbatim theatre. So what I do is that I interview various people and the transcripts of those interviews I will later edit and reshuffle, rearrange uh, and it will form the text of the play. So everything that you hear in the play has come from an interview. I've done documentary theatre with Wild Rice before and one of the first ones I did was called Cooling Off Day back in the year 2011. And I sometimes joke that I should have called this Cooling Off Day Part 2 because it's, it's about a warming planet, right? It's about climate change. One of my early inspirations for this work is a photograph of Minister Go King Sui chopping down a tree. And I remember feeling so puzzled by it because usually a minister tree is at a tree planting ceremony, right? It's a garden city. I discovered that he was chopping down this tree at the official opening of the Shell Refinery Plant, which is on Pulau Bukom. And I was so fascinated with the image because it marked a certain moment in our history, I felt, when we were exchanging carbon capture, which is the tree, for carbon emissions, right? Which is a Shell uh, refinery. It struck me as the beginning of this journey towards a much more carbon-intensive economy. So for Pulau Ujong, I conducted many interviews with, I felt, people who had interesting relationships with nature. There was a climate activist, there are climate scientists as well, there's biologists, bird watchers, and some of them, I think, are interesting to me because sometimes when you have some very specific interests, you, you get a little bit nerdy, right? And, and a bit obsessed. I felt that these were the, the voices that I wanted to capture in the play because for me, I think one of the questions I had was what does the world look like to a botanist? What does the world look like through the eyes of, of a bird watcher? Other than many, many birds. <laughs> but I also went a little further than that. So I actually have interviews of quotation marks in this work uh, with non-human or more than human subjects and by that I mean plants and animals. So apparently I've interviewed banyan tree, pepper and gambia plants, I've interviewed aming, the orangutan which is in Singapore Zoo, I interviewed a queer hornbill as well. Yeah, you should come and see how those, how those interviews played out. This is not a show that is alarmist. It's not a show that's gonna guilt trip you or anything, yeah. So I think I would like people to re-establish a connection with nature. I would like people to re-enchant themselves and go away from the play really thinking and feeling that the world is miraculous. And I think that's one way in which we learn about our duty to protect and preserve it. It is deeply, deeply miraculous. Please come and watch Pulau Ujong Island The End and listen to the many stories that we've assembled in the play about people's relationship with nature, the, the awe and wonder that they feel towards it. And uh, we open on the 15th of September.